Welcome to TankUniverse.com with the breaking news. On 31st of January 2024, the first nine of 25 Leopard 2 A4 main battle tanks or Panzer 87 tanks sold to Rheinmetall were handed over to Rheinmetall from Switzerland. The tanks arrived at Rheinmetall land system via rail transport. The remaining tanks are to follow today in two installments. Nine tanks will arrive by rail, the last seven by road transport. The Swiss Federal Council approved the export on the 22nd November 2023, and the purchase contract was signed on the 23rd November. The Swiss Federal Council has attached conditions to the sale. Firstly, the battle tanks are not allowed to be transferred to Ukraine. Their final destination in Germany or with NATO or EU partners must be ensured. Second, to strengthen Swiss industry, Rheinmetall must place orders with Swiss companies from the security-related technology and industrial base, STIB, in the amount of the purchase price. Thirdly, Rheinmetall will support the management of the fire control computer of the Swiss Army's active fleet of Leopard 2 tanks, which will increase their endurance. Fourthly, Rheinmetall will repair the tanks, which can continue to be used for the active fleet operated by the Army at no cost and deliver them back to Switzerland. There is still no specific information on the expected use of the 25 battle tanks. It is highly likely that these tanks will be used to replace the Leopard 2 main battle tanks that have already been delivered to Ukraine. At the Defense IQ International Armored Vehicles Conference in Twickenham, the German Vision for the Future MGCS, Main Ground Combat System Project, was explained and has evolved from a single vehicle to a multi-platform solution. The requirements for mobility, firepower, survivability, and maneuverability are wide-ranging, with a clear focus on mobility. The 50-ton limit should not be exceeded under any circumstances. A single vehicle could not fulfill all of these requirements without becoming too large and too heavy. The Bundeswehr has therefore decided to create a basic platform for several tasks in order to reduce the logistical effort. A high degree of automation should reduce the need for manpower and improve effectiveness. An unmanned variant is planned. The multi-platform solution offers the advantage that new capabilities can be introduced simply by adding another vehicle. To cover the vehicle's power requirements and reduce fuel consumption, the MGCS platform should be equipped with a hybrid drive. Unmanned aerial systems are required to monitor the situation around the vehicle and identify targets. These should exceed the range of the vehicle's own firing range. To increase the vehicle's survivability, the MGCS should be equipped with a weapon that is capable of destroying targets with a single shot. This suggests the introduction of an increased caliber size. The MGCS should not only be a further development of the Leopard 2, but a real game changer with a new base. It should be smaller and lighter than the Leopard 2, but be able to take on more tasks. In addition to Germany and France, Italy is now officially joining the program. The Australian company EOS has announced a purchase agreement with Deal Defense under which EOS will supply its advanced Slinger drone defense system. The contract is worth around 15 million Australian dollars, equivalent to 9 million euros, and underlines the growing need for advanced drone defense systems for modern military and defense operations. The Slinger drone defense system, which weighs around 400 kilograms, is based on the fully stabilized 30 millimeter Bushmaster M230LF, which operates via a connection with the Echodyne 4D targeting radar, a four-axis vision system, and sensors. All air targets within a radius of around one kilometer can be engaged precisely and quickly thanks to the use of airburst ammunition. That's it again with the breaking news from tankuniverse.com.